Oh, and it's a spirit praise and beauty. What if she had to kill herself to bring me into- She's the sacrifice? She could- she believes she's martyring herself. Probably. Mm. Throw the suicide in immediately. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Crystal Mistiful. Welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa V3. In the last episode, we had come- we Tenko come over to tell us that she wanted to stop Angie. Because she's not actually brainwashed. Exactly. <laughs> um, and we also got we got bonded more with Maki. In this episode, lab! Let's see what's in the lab! Alright. It's right here. Just when I reach my hand towards the door. <gasps> no wait! I'm pretty sure that door is locked! Locked? Ugh. Oh, that's right. Angie did say that she locks when. But they took the key! Great. I grabbed the armament just to test it. I knew it. So it is locked. How? Because she's in there. But I no, because. Move. Monadam took the key, remember? She can still lock it from inside. No! Move. Maki pushed me aside and began pounding on the door. Hey. Angie, open this door. Now. Hey! Wait, Maki, you can't do that. Do it like that. Stop being a little miss impatient. Then? Then how should I do it? Um. And you will only open the door when a student council member calls for her. Tango turned back. Tango turned back to the door and gave it a few nervous knocks. Please! Angie, it's Tango! I want to talk to you about something. Can you open the door? Oh! Hello, Tango? Yes! Yes, it's me! After Tenko answered, the door flew open. Yeah! Ha can I help you? Huh? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? Uh, um... Um... Oh! Oh, I get it. You both want to join the student council, huh? Then you'll need to be acquainted with Atula. I will introduce you to him. So divine! Please, come in! No. Uh, no. It's not that... It's not no. that. Let's... Let's go in for now. We can talk inside. Well... I suppose. Invited by Angie, we stepped into her lab. But... Oh, is there a dead body? We weren't prepared for what we were about to see. Is Himiko dead? Oh! Huh? What the fuck? Uh, what, all of them? She made models of each of them? I am confused! She made models of each of them. Or she did the resurrection ritual four times. No, she didn't. They're not Ka real. <laughs> Kaede? And Mentaro? Kirumi? Ryoma? Yoo-hoo! I made them. D don't they look lifelike? Aren't they just divine? I hate you. Huh? You made them? They're 3D models, too. Uh, yep. Yep, they're my very own handcrafted wax effigies. Oh, I don't like that uh, word. Wax effigies? Of Why? Of course, of course. For the resurrection ritual, of course. Uh... According to the Necronomicon, we need an effigy to, of the deceased to perform the ritual. I thought you agreed on Rantaro. Come on, come so on. So I went ahead and made these. Uh... Simple dolls probably would have looked better, but once I got to work, Atua took possession of me. Yeah! And before I knew it, I had made these. What do you think? Aren't they amazing? You... You do such cruel things so innocently. Huh? What? But... It, it's incredible. For a second I thought they were real. You did think they were real. Yeah, I did! <laughs> yeah, just like the real thing, but... I mean, for a split second I thought Rantaro was real, but then I saw Kaede, or saw Kurumi and it was like, no. Oh yeah, once I saw all the more of them, it was like... Once I saw Kurumi, it's like, that's not real. <laughs> The fact that Angie can do things like this without a care is what makes her so dangerous. Please, you have to stop Angie. Is she just screaming um, this in the room um, with Angie? I can here? hear you from over here too. No, you, know? you can't. No, you can't. Uh, I'm just, I'm just telling him he's a degenerate male. And by, I, I just put it in coded cipher. <laughs> well, you try persuading her first. Detectives are good at talking, right? I feel like she might have some misconceptions about detectives. I mean, have you seen but Gumshoe? I know Maki isn't very good at persuading people. Have you? So it's up to me. Have you seen Detective Gumshoe? 
I am not Detective Gumshoe by any means! <laughs> yeah, pal. The more I look at it, the more it looks like Rentaro. It kind of looks a little bit more realistic than the in-game graphics, actually. It does. But actually... Look at Kayede. <laughs> or Karumi. It looks exactly like Karumi. Except uh, paler. Yeah, very paler. It's the light. And, and but out of the and out of the and out of the earshot you just hear faint clean your room. Exactly. Except in British accent. <laughs> I was just like clean your room. Clean your room. It looks like Ryoma. <laughs> that one looks a lot less real. <laughs> I mean, because, because she it, gave him the 3D mouth and it looks horribly weird. No, I already talked. Fucking. It looks exactly like Kaede. No, the hair is off. The face, the body, the looks shadow, like the real thing. The shadow of her, of the hair thing, makes it look like she has black hair. <laughs> oh yeah, it's weird. But actually. Yeah, okay. Talk to the fucking Angie! Okay. Hey, Angie, could you please reconsider? Mm hmm. I see, I see! Reconsider what exactly? Remember. The ritual that you're trying to do. Uh, um. I don't think you understand how bad that might be. Remember that this was Monokuma's motive. If he wants us to do it, it can't be good. But the dad can't really come back to life, so the people who died must still be alive! No. No, Angie, that's not possible. The bodies were not fakes. I'm positive. Especially after seeing these wax effigies. The effigies were nearly perfect, but the real body still had traces of a soul. A soul desperate to live, struggling fighting for life and there's that's something that can never be replicated no matter what technology you have you can't fake a soul thanks for going over all the executions by the way that totally that's isn't. true uh, Ryoma, Karumi, Rentaro and Kaede are dead okay I agree I have no doubts that their deaths were real oh yeah well she would have known if they were dead <laughs> yeah, trust me. I've seen my fair share of dead bodies. Mm -hmm. I see, I see. If that's what Maki says, then maybe they really are dead. I like how she completely disregarded Whoa! what we said. Well, if, then, if we do the ritual, will we actually resurrect the dead? What a miraculous mystery! Huh? Huh? This is stupid. What are you saying? Someone who has died can't be resurrected. But Unless but... you have Dungeons and Dragons. But that's not what Atua says. He says that if we do the ritual, everyone who has died up until now will come back. That's not everyone who has died up until now. You can just resurrect all of civilization then? Apparently everyone's dead except you, so. So if those four really are dead, then the resurrection ritual will surely work. What if it's actually her her own will and she just thinks Atua is telling her? Yep. This? She just really wants to believe that everyone will come back. Yeah. That's probably it. <laughs> That must be right, because Atua is never wrong! Um... Y you're not gonna stop this, are you? Of course, of course! Of course not! This is, this is Atua's will! Hey... This is your will, not Atua's. No? Nuh-uh! It's Atua's! Atua told me for, that our friends will come back to life if we do this ritual. So we have to do it! We can't defy a direct command from Atua! We'll get punished. Or else we'll get punished, you know? Uh, uh, you're probably still worried about the motive, Shuichi, but it's okay. Atua has, Atua spoken. has spoken. Nothing bad will happen as long as you put aside all bad thoughts of escape. Is that so? Then there's no point of talking anymore. Uh, Are we done talking now? Because I'm still busy preparing for the ritual. <laughs> if you're going to slow me down, I'll turn you into a wax effigy. <laughs> hey, Tenko, let's go back for now. I think we may need another plan. What was that? Uh, yes. I can still hear you. Uh, okay. <laughs> just uh, after failing to persuade Angie, we reluctantly left the lab. Am I just not here? 
She didn't hear any of the conversation with Tenko, by the way. No. Nope. <laughs> She's just oblivious, Tenko's. What? Yeah! It's already nighttime, so please be careful as you head back to your room. Right, right. Oh, and... Uh -oh. It's safe to say that Tenko has betrayed the student council, right? Huh? Eh. But, but... It's okay, it's okay. I forgive you because Atua forgives you. He's such a softie, you know. She's gonna kill Tenko. Atua! I hope you will recommit yourself to the student council and help us make this our place our paradise. Uh, yes. Yeah. What's going on? Oh, why do you have to show Hi. up? Why are Shuichi and Maki here? They're not on a student council, and it's night time. Himiko! It'll be okay. Oh, it's nothing. Tenko simply betrayed the student council and brought these two to change my mind. Yeah. She betrayed us? Mm -hmm. That sounds like a big problem. But if you're saying it's nothing, then... Yeah. Angie, you really are loved by Atua. Jeez. And you are loved by Atua in return, Himiko. Huh? Stop it. You're making me blush. Come on already! Enough already! Tenko walked toward Himiko and gripped her firmly by the shoulders. Yeah? Yeah. Himiko! Please, snap out of it! Aren't you a mage? Mm. That hurts. Let me go. <laughs> Himiko, why can't you see that you've been brainwashed? <laughs> if you can't even see that, then you're not a real mage at all! Ooh. What was that? <laughs> oh, shit! What's wrong? Feeling angry? If you are, then show it! Himiko. Get mad! Get upset! Yell at me! Just fight back already! Do something! Uh, um... Tenko, let's just leave it be for now. Huh? Ah. I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! I, I can't believe I just yelled at you! Uh... You must be tired, Tenko. I think it would be best if you get some rest. Bye, Yonara! Sounds good. Until then, I'll continue my preparation to welcome back our friend. I think Himiko just snapped out of it. Himiko didn't look Tenko in the eyes. No, I think she's just upset. After leaving Angie's lab, the three of us returned to the dorms. And found the rest of the student council waiting to beat the shit out of us. Cause they, <laughs> keep, a, keep in mind, Tenko, the whole time, believed in Himiko. Um, Tenko, are you okay? <laughs> said all those horrible things to Himiko, and now I don't know what to do! Ugh. I know she'd never hate me, but she'll demote me from a best friend to just a friend! Huh? You guys are best friends? No. Well, if you round up the nearest whole number, then we're basically best friends! I feel like you're rounding up a little too much there. Well... Well, if you apologize, I'm sure she'll understand. Right! That's right! We'll be like an old married couple once we overcome this rotten patch. You're already considering yourself as a whoa. That was a quick turnaround. Yeah, your your boner for Himiko is pretty strong. <laughs> you should let Shuichi teach you how to apologize. He's really good at it. Ouch! Really? That's the first time I've heard that. You apologize a fuckload, Shuichi. Piece of cake. Don't worry. I'll use my own words to apologize to Himiko and get killed. Well, see you tomorrow. Good night. Waving happily, Tenko returned to her room. <sighs> she bounced back rather fast. Guess I didn't need to worry. Oh. You were worried? What? Huh? Is it weird for me to worry? Do you want to die? <laughs> huh? Uh, there's that habit again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, instead of, ah! It's, uh... <laughs> Well, I suppose on the positive side, she's able to act more like herself around me. Well... What about the ritual? Have you ever given up on persuading Angie? No. I don't want to give up, but changing her mind might require... less orthodox methods. I need to think of another way. Hmm. Less orthodox methods. Got it. I'll think about it. Uh, no! You're gonna go right to murder her! Maki hurried back to her room. She's gonna murder hmm. her, isn't she? So Maki's gonna think about it too? I didn't expect that. But I'm glad. He's gonna- she's I didn't gonna, expect an assassin to think about possibly murdering someone. She's- she's gonna go think of murder. 
so well. You so know, well. Just all that cool secret murder stuff that won't show up in a detective mindset. She. Especially now that I'm going to be able to talk about more things with Maki, except she's going to die. I don't know a lot about this place, but I don't know a lot about anyone either. Someone's going to die. That could be a good thing, or it could be a bad thing. Monodam Theater. Oh, fuck you, AET reference. AET. In a past life, I was a fish. I grew up in a pond in a rural town, but I always dreamed of the city. One day, while my parents were feeding, I ran off to the city. Luckily, I was caught by a rich person who let me attend human- as a- as a fish?! But the other kids bullied me. They bullied me for silly reasons. Because of my odor, because of how I would flop around on my desk, and because of the way my mouth opened and closed as if I was dying. The trauma of my past life haunts me to this day. That is why I can never forgive bullying. I swear on my past life that I will get along with everyone as I bully Monofani and Malataro. What was that? <laughs> just fucking. Just saying this in front of the two of them. <laughs> I wonder if Monokuma will ever make a recovery. Probably. The intercom? This early in the morning? I wonder who it could be. It's Maki <laughs> or oh, Tenko. <laughs> it's Maki. I love the character mm -hmm. development we're getting with Maki right now. What's with that face? You look like you just woke up. Huh? I did just wake up. The announcement was just a minute ago. You... You wake up to that? If you rely on that announcement as your alarm clock, you'll start to get you'll start getting used to this place. Uh, well, okay. I suppose that's true. Hey! It's mine! Just let's stop! Kaito? I, I don't think you're feeling better, Kaito, right now. Okay. I heard from Maki Roll. Seems like Angie's gonna do the ritual. What? Maki Roll? Don't give me such a weird nickname. <laughs> Is a Maki Roll a thing? <laughs> Is that a legitimate thing? <laughs> Is it a sushi roll? It's sushi. A sushi. Shoot. A sushi. Sushi is a general term for. Oh, it's literally just sushi. Yeah. Maki roll is literally a word, uh, another way of saying sushi. Yep. That's kind of cute. Ah. Oh, you brought Kaito here, Maki? Why? Is that weird? <clears throat> Is that weird? We need a backup plan in case a straightforward approach fails. Who's better than Kaito for a less than straightforward approach? But, but Kaito, are you feeling okay? <laughs> eh, we don't have time to be worrying about me. As you die of sweating, we gotta put a stop to this ridiculous resurrecting the dead crap. Okay. Then we can finally drop that topic or else I'm not gonna last. Not gonna last. Kaicho, are you... Um... Scared? Huh? Huh? No. Uh, it's just that I remember that you don't like talking about ghosts and stuff. Because... Now that I think about it, you've been acting strange ever since... We started talking about resurrecting the dead. Shut up! Don't be stupid! There's no way! Uh... Uh, so I was right. Got a minute? Wait, you mean the reason you didn't come to training is because you were scared? So... It's not that I'm scared, that's just how my body is! I'm fine when it comes to cramped area, space, and zero gravity, but ghost stories? <sighs> Since I was a kid, I, whenever I hear them, I started to feel sick. Kaito was looking more and more pale as he spoke. Damn it. Because of that, I haven't been able to eat or sleep since all this... Crap started. Hmm. So that's what happened. Okay. So let's hurry up and stop Angie so we can put an end to all this spooky stuff. I 
to think it's getting scarier, I'll seriously die from a heart attack. Dude, he's not sick, he's just dying. Why are you looking at me like that? <sighs> Unbelievable. You always act like you're not afraid of anything. Shut, Shut up! Ugh. Jesus Christ. Shut up! Let's just go and stop Angie already! Come on, bro! Maki roll! Let's hurry up! I told you. Seriously, don't call me Maki roll. Um, anyways, let's go to Angie's lab. Did they name her Maki specifically so they can make that pun? I feel like they did. <laughs> but I like that they did that. <laughs> it's great. And, you know, it's, it's kind of... It, it kind of lessens the intimidation when you name an assassin a uh, sushi, a, a piece of food. <laughs> what is your name, sla my lady assassin? Sushi. <laughs> That's their code name. Their code name is Sushi. Sushi, are you in the building? This is Rooster House to Sushi. <laughs> <laughs> this is Japanese restaurant to Sushi. Um, this is Hajime Maste to Sushi. Haji, <laughs> you say Haji Maste to Sushi. To yes. stu sushi. This is uh, this is California roll to sushi. <laughs> uh, this is egg are you in the sushi status? Over. Are you are you, are you next to egg roll? Egg rog. Are you next to eggnog right now? This egg roll. This is egg roll to sushi. Do you copy? <laughs> oh hi, Keo. Oh yeah, we never went to your place. Oh, good morning, Keo. Yes. Uh, good morning. Oh. Oh well. Oh well, if it isn't Kaito. You feel like better already? Ah. Yeah, somehow. Sorry though, we don't have much time to talk right now. Well, well, don't push yourself. Things feel amiss without your boisterous voice. Thanks, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure. My bad for making you worry. That's right. Yes, and all because you were scared. Did you say something? Shut up! It's nothing! Right, Maki Roll? I told you. Quit calling me Maki Roll. <laughs> it's a sign of endearment, Maki. Jesus. In case you're not endearing. Also, who's over here? Tenko! As <laughs> you run through. Good morning, Tenko. Yeah, it's like, good morning, Tenko! <laughs> <laughs> and this goes through her. Yeah. And then Kaito has a heart attack. Good morning, Maki! Okay. Good morning. I, I, I just, Come on, man. Hey, are you gonna ignore Shigeru Shuichi? He what? looks way better, by the way. What do you mean? It's proper manners to greet girls before degenerate males. It's proper to greet people who say hello to you first, regardless of whether they're male or female. Yes. More importantly, have you guys seen Himiko? No. I haven't seen her. She's not in the dorms? Oh, is she dead? I guess not. I didn't get an answer after I knocked on her door, so she must have gone out. Is she dead? Anyway, I'll go look for her. See her, please let me know. Did Angie kill her to do the ritual? Why would she kill Himiko? Because Himiko is devout as fuck. She must want to apologize for last night. It's very like Tenko to take action. Go to the dining hall. Or Angie's lab, which is probably where you're supposed to go. You clicked on the window, but it worked. Fine. I didn't click on the window according to the video. The window! Under the wall! That's how the song goes. It's not That's how the song goes. That's how the song goes. Yeah, it's just, it's just air horns. <laughs> this is not the direction you're supposed to go. Skeet, skeet, motherfucker. God, why, why do they keep making beautiful, beautiful themes? Is it there is a beautiful lie, by the way? I, I, I know. That's I like that song. The it's the, amazing. Yeah, every single game has a beautiful theme. The first one, I'm pretty sure, is beautiful lie. The next one, the, in the second game, is beautiful ruin. This is also beautiful. It depends on which part of the game you're at. Because if you go, if you go to a certain part of the game, the theme is just box 15. That's what the, that's what it's called. Oh, there's Himiko. Yeah, why would she be dead? Because she needed a devout sacrifice. That was you guys cool. again. Why, Himiko? Why are you here? Were you keeping watch this whole time? What a pain. I wouldn't do something like that. It sounds like a pain. I just came to check in on Andy. So now she's dead. You. 
So what do you guys want? Don't tell me you came to stop Angie again. Okay. Uh, yeah. Because the ritual is Monokuma's motive, we shouldn't just let it happen. Okay. That is exactly right! It's not just because I'm scared or anything, okay? You didn't sure. have to bring that up. But it's good that you're here. She won't open this door for anyone but members of the student council, right? Then? So, tell Angie to open it for us. Mm -hmm. Eh, that's not possible. Huh? Not possible? Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask her how the ritual went, so I've been calling to her. But she really must be into her work. She won't come out. Mm -hmm. Or she's dead! Won't come out? Are you sure she's in there? Mm -hmm. She should be inside, but the, this door and the back one are locked. Huh? Both doors are locked? She's dead. Or in the building. I grabbed the knob and tried to turn it. She's dead. I'm calling it. It really is locked. No shit, sure. But these doors only lock from the inside. Exactly. Which means there's definitely someone in there. Hey. Any response? Anyone? No. You don't have an ultimate lock picker in the house? And that's Rentaro's dad. Actually, no. Maybe she's sleeping. No answer? Give me coming. We you need to get inside right now. Mm -hmm. Why? Nah. But you know, even when you wanted to check, it's locked, so we can't do. I see. I heard everything, and I'm just as shocked as you, Barbara, what the tabloids are reporting. What? What? You obviously didn't hear anything at all. Wait a second, was there something I missed? He's thinking. He thinks that you know she's dead, and you need to get in there to make sure she's alive. Oh. You. Where did you come from? Um. A little birdie told me now that now would be a good time to bust out my trick. Kokichi's trick? Is he gonna <gasps> pick the lock? Ah, oh, the lock picking! <gasps> lock picking? Hey, during the insect meet and greet, Kokichi was able to get into our rooms by lock picking. This is true. Can you use your lock pick skills to get the lab door open? Hmm? He wants me to op to pick open this door, huh? Hmm, let's be see. Kokichi bent over and peeked into the keyhole of the doorknob. Ah. ah, it's a cylinder lock. Now this type of lock is perfect for lock picking. Um, yes, please Kokichi, open the lock! Phew. It's rude to pick a lock without permission. Shut the fuck up! Now not time for that, something might have happened to Angie! Yeah. Don't worry about it then! Kokichi, hurry up and open the door! My bad. Sorry, Himiko. I'm only doing this because these three are threatening me. You wouldn't give a shit Kokichi otherwise. Kokichi pulled out some thin needles and stuck them into the keyhole of the lock. Click, 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 clack. See? <laughs> That's some good, uh, <laughs> lock picking noises. Click, 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 clack! <laughs> there. Open says me. Huh? That simple? Well... Oh, fuck's sake. It's really one of the few things I've been thinking about going back to controller is specifically this. This. <laughs> Not to brag, but I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Lockpicking seems more suited to petty thieves. You got me! Ah, that cuts real deep, yeah, Mark. I like how you said, you got me! <laughs> Alright, let's get inside. I'm worried about Angie. Got it. Yeah, you're right. And she's dead. <laughs> Probably. I'm just... <laughs> what are... Going in without permission, I will cover you when Angie gets mad, you know. Uh... She's been in there for hours! How do you know? She said she was in there for hours! When I touched the doorknob, I realized my palms were sweating from fear. Palms were sweating? Fear? Why am I nervous? Mom's spaghetti. I turned the doorknob and pushed open the door and saw... Yep, and she she's was home. dead by no what? Wait, what? Kaede? Wait, what? And she's yep, still dead. There she is. But she's not hung. What the fuck? She did the ritual to herself, didn't she? And there it is. Oh, too bad Destin didn't get to voice her. <laughs> Yep, too bad. This is an A body concept. has been discovered. Everyone, please assemble at the ultimate art lab. So they're actually telling specifics. <laughs> ah, 
He peeked again, and it's green this time! Monopoly is green puke is said to be an omen of bad luck and disaster. What on earth is about to happen? So I guess the cult's disbanding! Alright, so I think Tanko's the murderer. <laughs> She's like right off the bat, I'm pretty sure Tanko's the murderer. I mean, oh. you could also assume that because I think Tango's reasons. The murderer, well I, then, I really think. Let Tango's us play the for Angie. I'm, I'm, I'm. Suspicious well, the Colts kind of got no power now because they have no one to, you know, talk to a Tua. I think Tango's the murderer. I kind of do as well. <sighs> oh God! So that the Tua may guide her soul to the gates of heaven. <laughs> a Tua. Please take care of Edgy. It, it can't be. Hey, why did you end up like this? Didn't Edgy have a tour with her? You don't know? Clearly she didn't. Weird! Did that not true? Angie say a tour always up by our side. We don't have time to be talking about this. Instead of talking about a tour. Yep, we got to talk about which one of us is the culprit and win the killing game. Really? What? This is part of the killing game? That's right. What else could it be? The fact that Angie's dead can only mean one thing. One of us killed her. No way! But, but why would someone do such an awful thing? I, Tim and I added the end to make it correct. Is that really what happened? Huh? Could it be? It's possible the culprit who killed Angie wasn't one of us, but... Yeah! Oh, it that's is a lot of... Legitimately green. No, that's, that's way more green than before. Yes, it is. Oh. A vomit-soaked entrance. How novel! And the green is... The puke is green again. The green is puke again. <laughs> that's a very ominous sign. <laughs> Why didn't know the murder happened? Oh? What's the deal, Monodam? I thought you were gonna make everyone get along! It's okay. Don't worry, overcoming this will bring everyone closer together. That has been the case so far, yes. Their bond gets stronger with each class trial, does it not? Murders are necessary to bring everyone closer together. Except that is complete bullshit. Let them read the Necronomicon. Oh, but how? So then. So let's get started with the Monadam file. <laughs> Conduct a friendly investigation. Then we will have a friendly class trial. We must distribute these first. Two. Oh! Whoa! Look, the Monadam file. I wanted to be the one to pass it out. Didn't you want to do it too, Monopony? <laughs> By the way, I've been thinking, you guys should totally knock off all this killing and dying. Dying is like so lame. Living is like all the rage these days. <laughs> I called that one. There's a lot more fucking green. Yeah, ah, more green puke. This is really unlucky. So that she's gonna die. Like I said, I want to be. As there's no use complaining. We're better off beginning our investigation. I want to read the Monica. I, I want to read the Necronomicon. I want to see what the ritual entails. That's probably going to be evidence. So everyone, we all know what we need to do, yes? Yeah. Yep, I mean, by the third murder, we should all be pretty used to dead bodies. Wait! No, Gon- No, not Gonta! No way Gonta ever get used to this! No. Trust me, you don't want to be used to this. No one should get used to this. <laughs> That's all nice and all, but it seems pretty insincere coming from an assassin. Fuck you, Kokichi, you bastard! Let's start investigating. It's not like we have any other choice. You're right. That's true. Real? It's still a little strange. This is a bizarre setup. Four wax figures, effigies of the dead, hung upside down in the room. And in the middle is Angie's body. It's literally a fucking pentagram almost! This certainly appears to be some kind of ritual. I'm telling you, the ritual called for a sacrifice when she killed herself. Shuichi! Alright, bro. Count on you as my sidekick. Let's end this nightmare together. No. Okay. But 
Yeah, but are you feeling okay, Kaito? Okay. We seriously don't have time to be talking about this. No way we're gonna die here. I'm definitely gonna find the culprit. Seems like... The culprit? Is it really someone among us that killed Angie? Probably. Hmm. I get how you feel, Samugi, but do you have to repeat the tired old line every time? Uh, uh, no, that's not it. I mean... Could this have been the work of a, the transfer student? Huh? Uh, Age prepared the ritual in this room to resurrect the dead, right? And she made the wax dolls hang upside down as part of the ritual. Could be. Maybe the ritual succeeded and resurrect then the resurrected person killed her. <laughs> okay, thanks, Majora's <laughs> Mask. <laughs> it's literally the Majora's it's Mask the Majora's moon. Majora's Mask moon, yeah. Hey. What? Shut up already. Wh what? It's her fault telling scary stories out of nowhere like that. Saying messed up stuff like that. <sighs> Kaito, are you alright? I love the fucking, like, sketch outline on the fucking left side of it. Kaito, him. are you alright? I'm totally fine! Uh, my name's Kaito Momota, and I'm fine! Fucking my face is just stuck like this! Forever. Sure. Sorry, Shuichi. I need to get some fresh air. I'll leave to see you and Maki. Do a good job, guys. So now Maki's also a sidekick. Kaito left. Still a bit wobbly. Still a bit wibbly wobbly. Wibbly wobbly. <sighs> I love that fucking face. Do a good job. She looks like she's eating something, like, I angrily. Kind of. Nom, 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 nom. And it's fucking adorable. Do a good job. That carrot has a lot of nerve bossing us around. <laughs> uh, maybe that wasn't the best way to phrase it, but he just wants to encourage- Jeez. You clearly settled right into your sidekick role. Ouch! It's okay. I don't need him to give me orders. With so few people left, I can't afford to sit him out anymore. Well... So, where should we start? We should check the, mon the Monokuma file first, right? You're right. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look. It's in the file. It's totally the ult rhymes. The victim is Angie Yanaga, the ultimate artist. Okay, time. Body was found in the ultimate artist lab. Ah, so there is a time. It's 2 yes. a.m. That's well after. The time of death is approximately 2 in the morning. The cause of death is a stab wound to the back of the neck. The forehead also has a laceration. That seems like something the assassin would do, but I don't think she did it. No, because she was with us. Tango could definitely do that. Hmm. I think Tango's the murderer. The file included time of death this time. Hmm. 2 a.m. Everyone must have been asleep. We probably can't rely on witness testimonies. But... So the murder happened at nighttime after all. If everyone had followed the student council's rules like Angie and Atua said... <laughs> what good will saying that do? The Cobra might be one of the student council, yes? Why? A member of the student council? Th that's All right! We should go and figure that out! Let's start investigating and solve this mystery together! I think it's really open and shut. It's Although impossible. It can't. Himiko? Uh. I can't do it. I can't investigate Angie's body. But... But if we don't make it to the class trial, then everyone will die. Whatever. I don't care anymore. <laughs> what? What a pain. Surviving and everything else is too much of a pain. What was that? Then why don't we just use your magic to revive Angie? Please stop. This is no time for your mean-spirited taunts. Reviving her is clearly impossible. You <laughs> fucking idiots! <laughs> we cannot say that with certainty. That is not a right <laughs> I think you're still a little too uh, heated from that last comment. <laughs> we cannot say that with certainty, no? Huh? Excuse me? No. Well, of course, resurrecting her is impossible. But I know that we can speak with Angie. You see? We can summon her spirit with a seance called the Caged Child. Seance? What are you trying to pull? What are you talking about? Cut it out already. You gotta be kidding me! Yeah, this is no time for jokes! I am serious. Oh, I'm serious. This is for our investigation. So what? is this fucking... For our investigation? This is fucking... Spirit of Justice. Yes. 
If we speak with Angie, we can ask her who the culprit is and bring this case to a swift close. You're literally talking to the dead to figure out their last moments to figure out who the fucking murderer is? That's this literally- is also the entire plot of the entire show called Stitched. They're, they literally go into the, the brains of dead people to find their last few moments to see who killed them. But that's literally a game mechanic in Ace Attorney 6, where you use a thing called a divination seance Shut the to fuck figure up. out we'll the last the, moments we'll, of the person who died to figure out who the murderer is. We'll just do the thing, don't worry about it. First, a resurrection ritual and now a seance. Are you messing with us? Do you understand? I would appreciate it if you didn't compare it to Monokuma's foolishness. Seances are genuine occurrences. They are written of in literature of the world over. In fact, I myself have participated in seances a great many times. Huh? Many times? <laughs> On top of that, we have here a rare chance to perform the legendary seance, the caged child. It would be foolish not to take advantage of this, yes? No. No matter how you put it, it's not time for something- However... Oh, I suspect that you only made it confirm your earlier theories by performing the seance, yes? What? My earlier theory? Therefore... The possibility of the Cobra being the resurrected transfer student. It is not wise to go into the class trial with such outlandish theories in one's head. So to prove such a thing is impossible, I think it best to be consult Angie herself. Incomprehensible. Th that logic is peculiar, to say the least. Hmm. Holding a seance to find out about the ritual. So we're going to fight the occult for the occult. Yeah, you fight fire with okay. fire. Duh. Well, we can't worry about this forever, so we might as well go with the easiest solution. How exciting! Okay, I'll help out. I was getting bored of investigating anyway. You didn't have Huh? huh? Hmm. I'll help too. Huh? What? You two hear me, Cole? If I can talk to Angie one more time, I'll do anything. A seance or whatever it is, I'll do it. Well... Oh, he's not in the line, but okay. I'll help out as well. I can't leave him Cole alone. Do whatever you want. Ooh. Damn. She's still yes. annoyed at you. Okay. I will. So then... So now we have our four participants, Kokichi, Himiko, Tenko, and myself. However, the case child requires five people, which Shui still one short. Hmm. Fine, then Keypoy can come too. You're right. I guess we can't be picky. Why? Why am I being forced to participate and being treated like a burden? Well then. So then, we need a place to perform the seance. Where shall we do it? Hmm? How about your lab? No. No, in order for the cage dog to succeed, the room must be as dark as possible. Remember when we said those rooms we were never going to use? Ugh! Fucking using them! My lab has windows, so turning on the lights... Turning the lights off won't make it quite dark enough. And then... Then how about the empty rooms? That's... Empty rooms? The ones on the fourth floor? AKA the floor we're fucking on? Hmm. Yeah, there aren't any windows there, so if we blow out the candles, it should be pitch dark. Yeah. Sure, I'm fine with that. Oh. That's so creepy seeing. But then there might be two murders. No, because those five people would be like, well, one of the four of us did. But if it's in complete darkness, there could be another murderer. Or if the resurrected student did come back, and then they're sitting in that room waiting. Listen up! I agree with Himiko. Tell me your thoughts. However, there are three empty rooms. Which one shall we use? And then... Um, the middle room. The middle room's always the best for stuff like this. I see, yes. Very well. I shall begin the preparations at once. I shall have you for help as well. Let us carry the necessary equipment from my lab. Uh, um, are, are you really going through with this? Also, understand. if they do a two murder here, it kind of follows the other games completely. I know. This is for our investigation. I said as much, did I not? <laughs> we need to make sure all our effort to discover the culprit, lest our lives be lost.
Plus, it didn't Kiyoko, say. Kichi, Kibo, Tenko, and Himiko all left the scene. But also, it didn't say start investigating yet. No, it didn't. It didn't. So I'm thinking there might be another. It murder. might start now. This is stupid. Are they serious about this stupid seance? But perhaps that's just part of the investigation in their eyes. We should go with it. In any case, I should focus on what I can do. What the ultimate detective can do. Okay, now they're gonna start investigating. Yeah, so you're fucking wrong. Alright, whatever. Then again, they could still do it. So, that could be a throw off thing. Yep. Next time, a let's play uh, Danganronpa V3. We're going to accuse Tenko of murder. See you guys next time. Take care, and Tenko's the murderer. Yep.